Viewer discretion is advised. Boom, perfect timing. Julissa Burgos was found seated on the sidewalk in front of a gas station, which prompted the owner to contact the police and request her removal. Officer Miguel Hernandez, a member of the Miami Police Department, promptly responded to the scene and instructed Ms. Burgos to vacate the premises. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Let's do it. I'll get some money out of you. Oh, but Let me get you don't want to Bye, right, baby. Have a good one now. Bye, bye. Bye. As Ms. Burgos walked away, it is alleged that she flicked ashes from her cigarette onto a police vehicle. Officer Hernandez followed her to the adjacent block and confronted her about the issue. Another officer, Officer Rivera, joined him and together they attempted to compel Ms. Burgos to return to the police cruiser and clean the alleged residue. Come here. You're gonna go back to my car. And you're gonna clean that, or you're gonna go to jail. Get up! Now you piss me off! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Okay, you're gonna go back to my car. I need to see your warrant. You're gonna go back to my car and you're gonna clean it. Bubble. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20. You got gloves on? She got a cigarette and she went to my car. Okay. She got for my Uber, okay. and he's doing this to me. That's right, you're okay, gonna go back to my car. You you're gonna go back to my car, and you're gonna clean that. Let me ask you a question. From what you, got, you got extra gloves on? I'm pregnant, he's bothering me. Okay, you're gonna go back to my car, you're gonna clean what you did. Get up. Clean what? Get the cigarette that you broke, let's go. Oh my God, stop, don't touch me. Get up. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Get up. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get up, get up. Don't touch me. Get up then. Get up, you're gonna go to my car, you do that, right now, get up. Get up and clean that. That's right. You're gonna get up and clean that my car. Let's go. Get up and clean that from my car. Now, you're gonna go clean up from my car. You're gonna go clean up from my car. Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna go back to my car and clean that. Let's go. You know what? You're gonna go to jail so fast you're gonna be incredible. Come here. For what? For. For, for vandalizing. Don't touch me. Get, 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 get to the car, me. get to the car, and pick that up. You want to go to jail for vandalizing? Go, go to the bar cleaning. Let's go. Do you really, no, let, let, let's talk about this. Yeah, no. Do you want to go to jail for vandalizing? Oh, wow. That's, thing. that's oh, right. You're, you're going to right clean now. it. You're going to clean it. Let's go. Yeah, no, you do care. Let's go. Don't touch me. Touch me. Clean it. Let go. I'm walking. Let go. Let go. Clean it. Ma'am, are you going to resist me? Yes, because you're, no, you're arrested for no reason. Get away from me. You're going to resist me? Help me! Get away from me! Clean it. Relax. Get away from me! Clean it. Let's go, clean it. Relax. Clean it. Let's go. Get away from me! You're going to clean it. Let's go. Sit for me. Come here. Help me! I need you to sit up and get relaxed. Are you gonna go? Oh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! Help me! Help me! I'm pregnant! Help me! Okay, I understand you're pregnant, but stop resisting! Help me! Help me! Resisting! Jesus Christ! Stop resisting!
<laughs> Vandalizing my car. Ms. Burgos adamantly refused their request and directed curse words at the officers. Eventually, they physically forced her back to the police vehicle parked at the gas station and placed her in the back seat. The video footage depicts an ongoing exchange of arguments between Ms. Burgos and Officer Hernandez. At one point, Ms. Burgos can be seen spitting in Officer Hernandez's direction. Subsequently, the body cam video captures Officer Hernandez striking the handcuff Ms. Burgos in the face. Moments later, he proceeds to grasp her by the neck with both hands, forcibly dragging her out of the car and forcefully propelling her face first onto the ground. Officer Rivera, the second officer present, who had momentarily averted his attention, promptly attends to Ms. Burgos, finding her unconscious. While checking on her, Officer Rivera vociferously confronts Officer Hernandez, questioning his actions with exasperation, yelling, what the hell did you do? Julissa Burgos would be charged with criminal mischief and assault on a police officer. However, these charges were later dismissed. According to the report from the Civilian Investigative Panel, Officer Hernandez resigned in June of 2021 after the Miami-Dade State's Attorney's Office conducted an investigation into the incident. Additionally, Officer Hernandez willingly surrendered his police license. We were obviously very surprised, stunned, shocked, even disgusted to, to, to witness what we, we saw in that body worn. I think the evidence in this case is overwhelming and it clearly went too far. There wasn't the point at all. 
in that video where the officer was de-escalating the situation from the very first contact until the inevitable ending. Initially, Sergeant Carlos Mendez, Mr. Hernandez's supervisor, defended the actions of Officer Hernandez, deeming them, quote, reasonable and in compliance with state laws. However, Sergeant Mendez's own supervisor, Lieutenant Rodolfo Beltran, disapproved of the report and promptly returned it to Sergeant Mendez on the same day. In other words, it is alleged that Sergeant Carlos Mendez purposefully provided false information in his police report in an attempt to shield Officer Hernandez. Before the civilian investigative panel could hold a hearing on the actions of Sergeant Mendez, he retired two months later in August of 2021. Ultimately, no disciplinary or termination actions were taken against any of the officers involved and they were not charged with any crimes. In fact, Officer Hernandez was permitted to resign and retain his pension. An internal investigation into the matter found the officer used excessive force, but Hernandez resigned before the investigation was finalized, drastically impacting its outcome. Although the officer is no longer part of the department, we had to create a no finding for that officer. Our ordinance doesn't allow us to make findings of facts for individuals that are no longer a part of the department. Tuesday, the civilian panel voted in favor of the no finding recommendation, essentially closing the case. The state attorney's office also declined pressing charges, saying the victim would not cooperate. But some on the panel did express concern about the move saying they want to write a letter urging the state attorney's office to reconsider. The letters will still be written, although the state attorney didn't want to move forward in the past. Uh, nothing precludes her from doing it now. Um, there's been many of cases that have gone forward without uh, the victim or, or the person that has the harm just for uh, good public policy reasons.